I'm sure you've heard uh, the idea of looking within yourself for your answers. And yet sometimes it seems we get caught up in looking everywhere but within. Or we think we're looking within, but we're looking so darn hard. We're trying so hard to get the answer that we think we need to the question that we've made up, that we obscure any real insight, any real certainty or knowing that might arise. You see, we each do have contact with a deep knowing because we're made of it. We're made of the same stuff, the stuff of life that animates acorns and causes them to turn into oak trees, not willows, that animates willows and causes them to turn into willows, not oak trees. And each of us is animated by a life force and an intelligence that will show us how to be the best, if that term even makes sense, uh, Molly or Sandy or Harold or Ken. But we get busy with our ideas about how we should be, how we think we ought to be, how we are afraid we need to be. And we start working on ourselves and adding ideas and concepts and practices and strategies and tools and techniques to clear things up. But there's there's the, the problem. We can't clear things up by adding gunk to the system. So the good news is, yes, you can always find what you need within. You can always find what you need by settling down. And when you settle down and get quieter, like every other being, not just human being, but being, you get smarter. And then the answers that are available, the answers that are relevant to the oak tree or the willow or the Sandy or Molly or Ken or Harold that you are, will become apparent. But the more effort you add, the harder you try to find clarity, the more confusing it gets. So just notice the difference between settling down and then allowing what comes up to provide you guidance and looking manically to find the answers. Let me know what's going on, what questions you have, and what you think. Thanks and take care.